Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about how to configure rest assured Maven project in Eclipse. So how to create a RO setup or how to create a Maven project for rest assured. So for that, let's go to Eclipse. So if you installed Eclipse freshly, and if it is the first time, if you open your Eclipse, you can see something like that, welcome to Eclipse IDE. So from here also, you can create a project, create a new Java project, something like that. But if you're already using with some other projects or you're practicing your Java, so you can see something like this. Left side, you'll have some projects. And uh, otherwise, if you this is also for the first time, so I do not have any projects in my workspace. So you see, create a Java project, create a project, or import project, something like that. So otherwise, you might have some projects here. So, But anyhow, so you can click on this file. So click on New or hover on new. So the moment you hover on new, you can see some of the options here. Okay. So here you have a Java project, normal project, something like that. Click on Java project. So you can see something like this pop-up. Okay. So here, otherwise it will create a simple project. So go to here new, click on project. So if you click on project, you can see here multiple options, general, gradle. So when you click on Java project, it will be a general project. So this project, but I want to create a Maven project. So select expand Maven, click on Maven project. Otherwise you can filter here also. You see that Maven project. So it will display this Maven project. Click on this Maven project. Click on next. So here, click on create a simple project. Skip archetype section. So click on this. Click on next. So then you need to provide group ID, artifact ID, all these things. So anything you can give. So I can say some in dot at automation testing that in something like that artifact ID. So that is your project ID rest assured Maven project, something like that. So then click on finish. So now you can see the left side, you see rest assured Maven project created. So you have source main test. So source main java, source main resources, source test java, source test resources, and palm.xml. Okay, when you open palm.xml, you see that? So nothing is there. Okay. So here, I want to, this is just a Maven project, but this is not a rest assured project. So if I want to, use rest assured library in this Maven project, I need to add rest assured Maven dependencies. So for that, inside this project, just need to create dependencies. Okay, dependencies. So you need to add first dependencies. So in between dependencies, you need to add your dependency. Okay. So for that first, I need rest assured. Okay. So go to mvnrepository.com, Maven repository. Here search rest assured. So and then go to this rest assured, io dot rest assured, rest assured. So the latest version is 5.4.0. Click on this and click here. This is Maven option. You see that Maven Gradle. Gradle short, Gradle Kotlin, SBD, so many kind of repositories are there, uh, kind of projects are there. But I created Maven project. So I just click on here. The moment when you click, it is a copy to clipboard. So go back to your Eclipse. In between these dependencies, okay, between these two tags, paste this. Okay, and then Control S means save. So Control Shift F, it will format. And then control is, it will download the dependencies. So if you expand here, Maven dependencies, you see that. So groovy, common lang, lang, 
rest assured 5.4.0 something like that you can see that so now after copying sorry after copy paste and then save then you can see maven dependencies means rest assured uh, jar files downloaded okay so how can you make sure that this is downloaded and can be used so in source you see that scope if you want to write your test cases under the source test java then it will restrict it will restrict you to write the test cases under source test java only if you have the scope test but if you want to write any of the packages then just remove this so it doesn't harm anything so if you remove that uh, scope then anywhere you can write your test cases even then also i am creating source test java inside this so i'll create a package any package so i'll say youtube something like that for now so inside this i'll create a class rest assured demo permit okay so if you want to create a test ng then you need to add test ng dependencies otherwise public static void with normal java class so inside this if it is successfully added maven dependencies then i need to use the classes interfaces which we discussed in our previous class can be used here right can be discovered we need to find those right so rest assured you see that rest assured dot base uri is equal to something okay request specification this is that request specification spec something like that so these are coming means of this rest assured dependency api successfully add into your project so you can use the classes interfaces which are there in the rest assured so as part of your learning and you no know, practice you might need other dependencies also but whenever we need we can add those dependencies but as of now i'm just showing how to configure rest assured maven project in eclipse right so this is all about how you can add rest assured dependencies or you can configure or you can create a rest assured project in eclipse okay in our upcoming uh, classes we can see some examples how how we can use rest assured and then any other dependencies we need we can add okay so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you